It's travel day, and as usual, everything is chaos. Did you put some bubbles in? Yes. Put some bubbles in. Um, yeah, we are heading off to Bristol, so come with us as we journey south, where things are more southern, and fish and chips comes without moist. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go and drive down to Bristol today. Just loading up the car with bits and bits of food because we will be staying in an Airbnb, so we've brought some like counter pop and stuff like that. Uh, I've just loaded me wallet up with change for <laughs> paying display parking because I've read a few places in Cornwall. Still don't take card. Um, hopefully, got everything we need in the bags. Anything we don't need, we can buy. We've brought pick and mix, we've brought phones and cameras and laptop and BB8 shoes. Or? What? Going inside the booth or? Uh, can do, yeah. Uh, just, uh, rucksack. We've just dropped. This is a chaotic start to a video, isn't it? Expect no less from us. <laughs> we've just dropped the cats off. Uh, actually, has gone to the cattery, which is quite close to where we live. It's really a new cattery we haven't tried before, so that's nice. And Pixie has gone back to her foster mum, who was absolutely made up to see her again because um, she's grown so much since uh, we, uh, her foster mum led, led her into our car. We took uh, one of the water fountains that our cats use as a treat. A treat. Well, we just thought something she could get use out of, which is just reminding me to turn ours off. I'll turn the one off upstairs. Thank you, sweetie. Uh, but yeah, with that, I think we're going to set off shortly. Gemma is running about back in the car and everything. I uh, just grabbed those waters out of the kitchen as well. Huh? Yeah. I didn't finish some alley and falcon before I went a holiday. That's still in bits on the kitchen table. Thanks to change from laundry. Um, but yeah. We'll see you on the road, or in Bristol, whichever first. One last dart around the house to make sure all the electro-digitals are turned off. And I've probably forgotten all the stuff, but hey, we're all day in the UK, so... Oh, that been dark. Anything I don't have to hand, I will pick up while we're out there. I've just thought I wanted to bring our security camera downstairs so we can just keep an eye on the lounge, because the fish are in the lounge and they might get out. <laughs> I promise our uh, travel days are not normally this chaotic. Actually, that's a complete lie there. And this is our first experience with Bristol, a massive multi-storey car park. The drive is relatively straightforward. I'll just make sure I've unlocked the key, the door to the car. Me doing a massive miss of the fact that the signpost for the hotel is quite clear and wondering where to go. And this is the hotel for the night, just for one night. Yeah. And apparently there are bedrooms in the lift, which is a bit odd. The hotel we're staying in does have oh, very loud lift. Does have its own restaurant, which is like a chop house type thing, steaks and stuff, but we'll probably go into town and find something. And we're down this way somewhere. Room number 130. Here we go. And we're in with the room tour. I've, uh, we brought everything in because it was getting a bit awkward dragging all the cases around. Gemma's just using the facilities right now. Um, this is the room. It's a very weird shape. It's like a triangle. So I'm assuming that there's another room that adjoins onto it over there somewhere. So this room was, I think it was £86 for the night. Uh, but it does include two breakfasts, which is pretty good. Uh, you can put them without breakfasts as well tea and coffee making facilities, there's some water there, I'm assuming there's no charge on that, it doesn't say anything around it. Big TV, I'm not sure if we'll need that. Uh, nice big mirror, full length one mirror as well. Safe, iron, wardrobe. The view out the window is unremarkable, just I can't actually find it. <laughs> there is one here somewhere. There it is. It's like the, the square outside of the hotel. There is actually a little restaurant around there that's all off, offering uh, roast dinners for a tenner. And the Quaker meeting house over there. Interesting. Shut those curtains again now. Fairly comfy, large-ish bed and bedside cabinets. If anyone's left any wallets, socks. There's your Bible. Yeah, fairly standard room, isn't it? Anyway, we're going to go into 
Bristol City Centre in a minute and grab something to eat. Done a bit of research online, know where we go and stuff like that. I forgot the one last and more most important thing we have the facilities here. Small sink, nice shower cubicle, loo, and a yeah, little Amina tea kit. Amina kit, tea kit, and some shampoos and stuff like that. We brought our own. Well, toothbrushes and toothpaste, stick them in here. Yeah. So I think we're going to go into town. Yeah. Grab something to eat because you're hungry. Well, I'm hungry too, actually, after that drive. And uh, maybe a beverage or two. Mm -hmm. So, from this point on tonight, just because it's easier, I'm going to film on my phone. So, we won't have the fancy quality quite so much. No. But it does mean I get to carry less. So, we'll see you in Bristol in a short moment or two. Bonus points for bourbons. And we're in Cabot Circus. It's literally across the road from the hotel, hence why the hotel's called. Bristol Cabot Circus Hotel. Yeah, every, everything is closing now as well, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, we, so I just need to find out which way we need to go to get to where we want to eat. It's like we walked into Cabot Circus, they saw us and went, everything closed now. <laughs> right, it's just the end of the day on Sunday, so. Anyway, we're not, we're, we're basically walking straight back out again, so it's not too bad. Of course, Gemma has to get a picture of the Bristol sign for the Instagram. <laughs> Well, we decided to head out of the shops section because there's a park here we can walk along the side of. There were some people doing some free running a minute ago, but the minute I turned the camera on them, they all ran away. Gemma thought we might be able to catch one of them falling. <laughs> Continuing our street art tour, we've got an octopus. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we've had a bit of a break on the street art tour, but now we're in uh, Bristol. There's loads here as well, which doesn't surprise me entirely. We were thinking about eating here, but it doesn't look like it's doing food for eating in at the minute. To in takeaway. The whole place is shut. Yep, all places shut. <laughs> Where we got other all places? Oh wow. We just wandered into like the area where all the bars are. And we came to the park. Isn't it lovely? Gemma's teasing me because the Yogg's office is actually one of the offices on here, but I'm not creepy enough to go and find it. Oh, Gemma found a Morris Minor. Um, and we are heading out that way. Um, we put in Google Maps to find there's a ha an honest burger, so we're going to go and give that a try. I know we could probably try somewhere local, but we're not. We didn't have enough research for local places. But we've not tried honest burger yet, so we're going to give it a try. Something with all the uh, We were sat in the middle of the, the gardens, which are lovely. Um, I put the directions in, and then we just promptly walked off in completely the wrong direction because it was like one of four ways it could be, and we picked the wrong one. <laughs> we found honest burger. Kind of ironically, it feels like we're on Ball Street in Liverpool. All the places up here are the same. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, we're going to grab a bite to eat and we'll let you know what we think. Quick look at the menu. It's burgers. Shouldn't surprise anyone. <laughs> they can do it with their own beers though, which is pretty well. They've got some local beers and uh, they have the Honest Brewed Lager as well, which is brewed in collaboration. And another birthday beer there as well. Mm, interesting. After uh, driving, there's nothing like a pint of 10th birthday Honest Burger beer. And Gemma's got that honest drop beer. Very nice, both of them are really nice actually. Very quick in here. I got the honest burger, and Gemma got the tribute burger. The fries look amazing. Yeah, I can smell the rosemary. They're nice. Yeah. Anyway, tuck in time. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yeah, it was a decent, I think it was a good four out of five, that I think. But I have upped my rating on um, our old favourite to four and a half though, because I was getting a bit awkward. But yeah, it was good, I enjoyed it. I'd give it a four and a half as well. Oh, there you go. So four and a half for you, four for me. And we also just walked past an indie burger bar that smelled amazing as well. Which if we'd known about that, we'd have probably gone there. Anyway, we're going to Brewdog. And we have also found an independent craft brewery bar that we may call to if we're not too tipsy after <laughs> Brewdog, because we do have to drive quite early tomorrow, so we're not going to have too many beers tonight. Sunday roast, see ya, look at the fish market. When the old uh, online ordering thing for your table. This is a much smaller brew dog than I was so it feels a bit awkward ordering from the bar that's literally three feet behind me. <laughs> well at least Gemma's paying. You happy with that man? Yeah, I've got a on yeah, your favourite. And I got a hazy gin. In a nice glass. Ooh, it's gone dark. Um, we're just going to try another place that is 
uh, like an indie craft beer place which is actually much bigger than the brew dog <laughs> by the looks of it so we're going to give that a whirl um, the brew dog was pretty nice it wasn't as good as the Liverpool one if I'm honest but it was quite small yeah I vagabond on tap there you had big, vagabond on tap so that worked for you and the other one's there the left handed giant brew pub it's it looks very quiet oh no there's some people in there but yeah this place is actually a brewery as well so it should be quite interesting it's a really cool city that's not like it mm -hmm. this feels like quite the most flamboyant entrance to a <laughs> indie brewery and pub that i've ever seen <laughs> we're heading over the canal on this really fancy bridge that's flickering because of the frame rate <laughs> I feel like this should be like triumphant music as we, we pass over. Yeah. As we come down the hill, we need like a fanfare of trumpets I to welcome us in. It's it's wiggly and wobbly just to start push. <laughs> I think you can actually go out the back as well to get a taxi or an ambulance, depending on how much you've drunk. And we got into this place as the uh, left-handed giant brewing company and bar and it is, it's like three, yeah it's huge and it's busy, it's like, I mean it's like ten of that brew dog bar that we were just in. Uh, this is a an American amber and that's uh, just a pale, so I'll give them a try and see what they like. Nice that beer. It's really nice, yeah. Yeah, it's lovely, the both really nice actually. And uh, there's the bar over there with a selection of beverages and a, they do pizzas and stuff as well here. Yeah. It's really nice actually. And after a lovely uh, pleasant three beers in the uh, left-handed giant, we're going to head back to our room now. We're going to do a quick call in at Sainsbury's because Gemma just needs to get some bits. You've got a hairbrush. Yes. Well, I, I see. Yeah, yeah, I definitely too. need the hairbrush. In. So we'll, we'll get that sorted now. And um, yeah. Did you enjoy it in there? It was lovely. It was really nice place. Yeah, I'm filming you, but nobody can see you on the camera because the light's so bad. Yeah. It's just the absence of light where you're walking in front of the bridge. Well, let's go down here and you can see me. Yeah, that's helpful. <laughs> well, I've got to be honest with you. Our trip to Sainsbury's was a complete fail. We didn't get anything we wanted, but we did get barbecue beef hula hoops, salt and vinegar McCoys. The best. Peanut M&Ms. Nothing we actually wanted though. See you tomorrow.